the wait is for this view right here. <laughs> Yeah, we saw some like, uh, I know, probably 55, 60 year old German woman who was a little bit beefy. She was like hoofing this thing in uh, flip flops. So if she can do it, you know you can do it. Nope, he had it in two wheel drive. <laughs> like, subscribe, click the bell, please. Thank you. Coffee check. Okay, so we were at the, uh, the coffee shack for breakfast. Um, we had about a 15 minute wait, but the wait is for this view right here. There you go. Thank you very big. Excellent. You want a coffee? Wow, look at that omelet. That's excellent. Sandwich, omelets, and the eggs. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a super large avocado tree. Yeah, we had like the best table in the restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this place is an amazing, amazing views. <laughs> Yeah, that's where we were sitting right there. And just down the road, there's a beef farm. The nice, uh, nice pasture, nice cows. Yeah, so we drove through a very arid part. Now it's very, very wet. It's actually raining right now. turbines. Okay, so that's the trailhead to the green sands. Uh, supposedly locals offer rides uh, for like $20. We're going to try and hike it one way. So again, trailhead's over there. South Point is over there. We'll probably stop there on the way back. Um, we're walking out now to get to the actual trail. You can drive this supposedly. Um, <laughs> there was almost no parking in the parking lot. We didn't see anybody driving out here, so there must most of the people must have come out here early. We stopped to have breakfast uh, before we came, so it's probably around noonish. So the map on the phone actually shows us going left, uh, basically along the coast for like another 50 minutes. This is just a beach. Uh, this is not actually the green sands area, but most people seem to be just hiking down here. So we're gonna find the trail and head out when we find it. Yeah, so that's where we came from up there. <laughs> Looks like some abandoned, or not abandoned, but stripped out and burnt cars there. And the trail basically goes up that way. We saw a couple vehicles driving. So <laughs> once you hike out, <laughs> It's all like Once you know. hike out and you don't want to hike back, this is what you need to take it. I mean, obviously that's why they have those kind of <laughs> of Yeah, nice truck. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's working out well. Definitely beautiful, definitely much more dry. Walk, we're not taking the the ride. It's like a nice big ship rope. Um, so I put it up on Google Maps and did the hiking uh, thing. It said about 55 minutes from the spot where we uh, saw the truck. It's definitely windy, but the road isn't bad. So hiking uh, easily hikeable. You can do 55 minutes out, 55 minutes back. It's pretty easy. So 
yeah, decades of four-wheel drive. <laughs> it's like a canyon down there. This is the beautiful scenic. <laughs> and this is like walking in a canyon. It is, it's like a canyon. <laughs> Yeah, so... And there's like four or five of those old beat-up trucks rolling people back and forth. We were just saying, you probably couldn't start a little business. There's probably some kind of restrictions on who can and cannot uh, set up a tourist driving, tourist hauling business. Right there, you can see the blue hat popping up. Anyway, just so, so beautiful. It's actual green over there. I'm not sure why that's green and nothing else is. But supposedly they get a lot less rain on this part of the island. Coming up over the next hill, more canyons and beautiful beach. And brown talcum powder sand. So it's warm, it's probably close to 90, but the sea breeze keeps it actually relatively cool. Um, the wind is kicking, you probably hear it, uh, but it's not, I don't feel hot at all. I got my sunbreaker on, a little bit of water, we're all set. Yeah, we're, we're comparing the green, the sand versus the brown. So we're definitely on the way. So it's not algae that makes it the green beach, it's a semi-precious stone, and I'll put the name of it on on the screen but there's only a few places in the world supposedly that have this green uh, semi-precious stone as a beach so there's a few different truck truck trails beach and it's like a little ways to go yet i'm not checking the phone so we're not sure how far but it's not bad it's an easy hike compared to the mountain hiking So we just saw this thing, it looks like a old, uh, either a corral for cattle or maybe an old house. This looks like a little wall. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's obviously man-made. Cool. If I had to guess, I think that's another one. There's people hiking up there. We're plowing straight ahead. And we're pretty sure it's right down in there. We'll see. Nice little hike. Oh yeah, you can see it. So we're watching these four-wheelers come down that hill. And there's the green sand there. Definitely really cool, the water is so blue. Coast out that way. And it looks like there's a fence line there and then there's a little road. And then this is the bay that was on the map. And then you can see the color of how it's green. Yeah, so you can see the layer. Looks like a layer of stone or a layer of ash. Again, I'm not up in my volcanic rock formations, but interesting. And again, I'm gonna have to look at what causes this green, but it's like I said, a semi-precious, uh, semi-precious gemstone. Uh, when lava hits seawater or something like that, from my quick read over the, <laughs> the information when we were picking this spot. But you know, 50, 55 minute hike, it's, it's definitely worth it. Adds a little bit more to it. And you get from that picture up there, you get a much better picture of the spot where if you drive, they take you right up to there and you don't get that, that great picture of it. At least in my opinion. We'll see. Definitely got to go for a swim on the Gemstone Beach.
Yeah, we saw some like uh, know, probably 55, 60 year old German woman who was a little bit beefy. She was like hoofing this thing in uh, flip flops. So if she can do it, you know you can do it. All the trucks that will bring you out here. So we'll see, maybe if I finish early, I'll go hike down there. But I'm definitely going for a swim. All right, flipping down, there's a little bit of a ladder here. The girl got herself smashed on a rock. This is the steps, well worn. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, so I got my high speed uh, walking shoes on, but I got surf, uh, surf shoes in my bag. So I'll try that. These are like little steps. Keeping the camera on in case I take a tumble. At least I can get it on a bit. On a, I can record it. The lava rock. The stone's actually in. That's cool. See it over by the there also. Yeah, so that's the climb down. Not too bad. You can always take the sand a quick route. Kid is outstanding. If you like the video, click the like button or go to the comment section and tell me what you would do different. Take a little French, we're good. Whew. All right, so I'm doing a quick little walk up here. Get too close. That's close enough. Woo! This is nice. Wow. <laughs> Let's do a hill climb over there. Yeah, there's 
definitely a whole lot of empty empty land or parkland. I'm gonna go out to that peak, turn around and try and catch catch them. They were already like right over there. It is a beautiful place. Very different and very similar um, to some of the islands in, uh, in the Philippines. Also the Caribbean, but again, a bit, a bit different all the same. Alright, do one little bit more, then I'm gonna head back. Great, great <laughs> little hike or activity, something to do if you're in uh, Kona or on the Big Island. Definitely worth the drive out. It's beautiful. One of the, the few semi-precious gem beaches in the world. How could I pass up swimming on there? The waves were actually pretty decent too. I got some good body surfing in. At least good for me. All right, on I, I'm way back. Also, if you rent a Jeep, a lot of people rent Jeeps on the way here. Uh, you can drive out here in, uh, in your rental vehicle. Whether or not it's in your, in your contract. I know there's quite a few rentals that were out here. Uh, quite a few, I say like three or four. There's a bunch more back there, but uh, at least three or four drove them out here. Anyway, that's it. His Jeep is stuck. I'm gonna walk over here and look down. Nope, he had it in two wheel drive. <laughs> nope, he had it in two wheel drive. <laughs> nope, he wasn't stuck. So I'm walking, I almost caught back up to him right there. Force march. I'm trying to do it without running, just speed walking. Another, uh, another nice Jeep. Tyler, you dropped your blanket. You're gonna put that in your video? <laughs> I will. On the way back, just the nice scenery. The waves are definitely kicking on the side, south side of the island. So we're trying to figure out if it's $20 for round trip or $20 one way. But it basically seems like every 15 minutes there's a truckload rolling through here. Hey, you see the fence line? I think it's fence. It looks, it looks unnatural. That would be my guess. Cattle back in the day. Couldn't even take it. Had to run over. Had to run over. What? And some more of that? Oh, so I got a little bit of the hard cider. And my feet are a little bit sore, but I'm chilling out here and relaxing while they cook some fish. Very nice, relaxing day. I'm gonna pet the kitty cat and drink some hard cider. Someone would like to steal you. Having uh, breakfast at uh, Island Lava Java. It's about 15 bucks for the breakfast. There you go. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs>